So I'm gonna do a little quick OOTD. Um, where can I even, where, where can I even put my, all right, boom. Don't judge my living room, it's a mess. Bodysuit is Wolford. Leggings is Amazon. And boots are Chanel. And going very dainty jewelry per usual. I don't really like to wear a lot of jewelry, especially when I have clients, because I'm probably going to end up taking this bracelet off anyway at some point. I'm so tired. It's like 8.30, 8.40 now. Um, I'm about to take an Uber. Because I also need to make a stop before I go to the store. And pick up some gloves. Okay, so I went to... 99 cent store to go get some gloves because ran out of gloves. I'm at the store. I took an Uber from my place to 99 cent store near uh, the store. And yeah, here I am. Here, here I am at the store. It's 920 something. Uh, the team is supposed to be here at 930. Um, I'm gonna get some laundry started. Why is that in the basement? What have you become? What have you become? What have I not? That's what you've been. I was fine. I was in it. I was fine. Oh, I, I thought that I was changing you. I can't believe I faced you. How many? Um, laser clients. Oh, I think this is my first interview. Let's see. Look at your behavior. That's what she is. Shame to your damn. Look at what you become. Matter of fact, what you've been. I was jealous, man. I was just so in it. I was just so. All right. So I've already done like three more interviews since I last spoke to you guys. And then um, I'm also about to do my next treatment right now. Um, yeah, I'm so hungry. I have like three clients back to back to back. And I'm gonna definitely like schedule some food. Probably now, so it comes um, when I am on my little break that I have. Right now I'm just organizing this room because like I said, after this treatment, I have back to back to back clients. So, just preparing myself. Um, I sent a text message also to like boost some sales, hopefully. <laughs> um, and I'm about to put it in Slack so the rest of the team can see it. Um, current sales. Yeah, I'm about to begin my next treatment. My first treatment was a microneedling session. My second was just a basic city detox. And now my third, I don't know, let's see. My third is a chemical peel. And then I have another regular facial. I think my chemical peel stuff is already in there though. 
Um, yeah, my chemical peel stuff is already in there. Oh, not this. The. Oh. Oh. A few of the other stuff is everywhere. All right. All right, all right, all right. Who's that? Hello. So I'm doing a rest of the week vlog. Um, I just literally just woke up, um, hopped in the shower skincare spf you know all that um and i'm in a rush because i have to bring chloe my puppy to the vet right mamas well, right mamas uh and i'm so tired I'm not gonna lie um it's like 10 30 or whatever uh it's 10 17 actually i'm supposed to be there at 10 30. um i know that she needs to get um one of her shots because she's old enough to finally get it um and yeah i just have a lot planned today starting now Literally. Um. Oh. Where are you going? Chloe. Chloe. All right. Treat. I don't want to look at your booty hole. You treat. <gasps> Why'd you do that like that? Why did you do that? Sit. Sit. You being real aggressive right now. I'm trying to figure it out. Sit. Sit. You don't want to listen? Sit. Sit. Oh, uh, you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. Not doing that. Whatever. I'm so dehydrated right now. Like it makes no sense. Oh, I just saw my client's car. Hopefully that was them, because like, they don't know who drove that car, but <laughs> I think it was them. <laughs> so, I just need to like prepare the hot towel and then I'll be ready. But I'm so dehydrated today, like, it legit makes no sense, like. I did an enema a couple days ago and it just left my body with no moisture and last night when i was eating i burnt the top of my mouth so it's like first i have no moisture and now i have no yet yeah, that is her because i see her face in the car she just did a u-turn <laughs> she probably didn't find any parking at the end of the block but i'm like dang now first first my my body ain't moisturized and now my lips and my mouth is hurting like child get it together get it together but yeah the music in the treatment rooms are so loud right now um after chloe's vet appointment i um Why was that so loud? I think I did something like a spot focus. Yeah, after Chloe's appointment, um, I had two interviews for an esthetician. I'm looking for one 
for the summertime, spring summer. Um, because my availability is definitely changing in the spa. Um, I definitely want to do more events this summer and that requires me to be out of the spa. So I'm looking for somebody to come in for at least two, three days a week. Um, and the other people who work here don't have that extra availability. Um, because they work other jobs as well. So, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I really want to have like a aesthetic class where I teach estheticians like how to do things and how to um, do more in-depth treatments because it seems like, in my experience of teaching, that, or like my experience of interviewing, that people really don't know a lot. Because number one, school don't teach them. But, at the end of the day, school's not meant to teach you everything that you're supposed to know as an esthetician. Like, it's just not. So, when people depend on school, I be like, like, I don't know. They're supposed to teach you stuff, like the basics, but advanced treatments, like they're not gonna teach you that. They're not, um, they want you to pay for it, just like everybody else. Because when you learn those advanced treatments, like micro dermabrasion, like LED, like dermaplaning, like micro dermabrasion, like chemical peels, that can like, severely increase your paycheck. You know? And how much you make as an esthetician. So, nobody's gonna teach you that for free. Um, and school, they're just teaching you stuff to pass your state boards. And all honesty. This room is ready. I was really doing interviews this morning. Like, after, right after getting my little baby seen by the vet. Chile. So I came back um, and did another appointment and now I'm getting ready to close the store early today. In all honesty, wow, can this thing stay up? All right, I'm about to close the store. Um, early today, child. Today has given me a run for my coins, honey. People are like, Yo, like working with people is really, really, it's just really, really, um, it's really, really, <laughs> um, I'm about to go to an acupuncture appointment, but before I get there, um, I actually, um, have to go pick up my dog's medicine because uh somebody left it um somebody left it there um at the front desk so i'm just trying to get the location of this place um to see how far it is 
so I can know if I'm gonna be on time or do I need to call a Uber. Yeah, cause my appointment's at six. If I literally leave now, then I'll be on time. Is that a cat? Oh, that's a baby. Yo, I thought that freaking baby was a cat. Okay, so if I leave right now, I'll make it on time, like literally right now. So Imani, what are you doing leave right now? What are you messing around with? Earlier I went to lunch with one of my clients slash friends. Um, I'm not, like I was saying before, I rudely got disconnected by this camera dying. Um, I went to um, lunch with one of my clients slash friends. Um, no, I do not befriend a bunch of clients like that. I definitely like to have a business relationship and that's it with a lot of people. But, ooh. But yeah, she different. <laughs> But she different. Um, and yeah, so now I'm on my way to go back to the uh, vet to go pick up the stuff. And honestly, I'm probably about to take an Uber to my other appointment because I don't want to be late, child. But the way that this traffic has been looking inside of like... Cause we we drove to the restaurant that we went to we went to planta really good um hopefully i got footage um and child but yeah child like i don't know like huh. being in a business where you work with people and like um you do customer service with people and you're face to face with people yo everybody has like different temperaments like certain things that bother other people don't bother me and vice versa you know like everybody's different when it comes to that but the amount of times where like me being an esthetician especially being a spot owner like i have to like put my feelings and how I would react to something on a back burner because people don't really view you as like a human when you're like in a service industry or doing a service <laughs> like they don't view you as a human they view you as like this person to get a means of you know whatever it is um so it's basically like having to provide that for them but then also like that's why child i could have a day where i'm like okay i made the goal for the day and tomorrow i'm about to go treat myself because these people ain't about to make me lose my freaking brain like, like what like what what and it's like i feel like the vast majority would agree with the things that i have to say i'm not gonna put it out there though because then people would specifically know it's them and how wild they are because people are wild bro but yeah <laughs> whether it's via email it's so funny because like sometimes when people call the store they don't know that they're speaking to me um not all the time i'm not saying that i'm the only one answering the phone but sometimes i do answer the phone like if somebody can't reach it in time you know somebody's in the basement doing something else um and the way that they'll speak to the person on the phone totally different when they feel realize they speaking to me like it's actually crazy like i've i've heard their voice and their diction and their tone and everything just changed that fast and it's crazy but yeah i'm done chatting I'm about to pick up my dog stuff and head to this appointment and de-stress, child. De-stress. All right, all right. <laughs> so, 
I'm in Long Island City. Long Island City. Um, which is just Queens. Um, <laughs> but it's Long Island City, Queens. Um, and I just got my uh, acupuncture. And I also did cupping as well. Um, I didn't record in the treatment, but honestly, because it was for me to relax, it wasn't really for content. Um, probably the next time that I go, I'll record. Um, and yeah, it was so great. So amazing. Um, that was the first time I got acupuncture in my hands, actually. And... Wow, this place is like around the corner from the place that I went rock climbing before. It's like, I feel like that place is like right near here. No, it definitely is. Um, but yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, so now I'm on my way home today. It is snowfall night so I'm really probably about to go home and watch snowfall and do my dog's medicine Lord. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> I'm about to go home, rest, and, you know, probably get some um, emails and stuff done and make sure that, you know, all the inquiries are answered for the day since I did leave before business hours. Um, we're done. So, yeah. I feel so relaxed. He had the little heat lamp on me. Like, I was a little plant. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> um, I had a late lunch, so I don't think I'm hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go. I think my train is over here this way. So, I realized today is the next day. Today is Friday. Um, and I did not vlog today. Very good reason, though. Um, it's the end of the day. My I literally left my battery that was charging on the charger at home. And I have this dead battery that I don't even know if it's going to last this long. I can't see the battery thing because my microphone is too big. Um, if y'all could see my microphone to be easy to see but felt cute today wanted to go out and have a little din din or whatever but <laughs> i don't know i got like a sudden wave of just like go home and be around your energy and your energy alone um yeah that's what i feel like i'm gonna do <laughs> um but yeah i'm just packing my stuff to get out of here um and y'all but nothing makes me more happier than a martinelli's apple juice <laughs> it's my favorite hence why i have them in the store for a dead battery let me stop talking or just shut off um <laughs> but yeah today was a day i definitely thought it was going to be hotter than it was today hence the little fit this thing though child it fits me like on the waist and the butt which i'm actually surprised about like it being able to be like smaller around the waist but like also have i guess because it's cargo pants like I guess, yeah. 
right? That makes sense. Like the cargo bagginess eats the booty up, you know? But still giving out waste, you know? <laughs> but people don't think that I got the girls and I got the girls, like, and the girls don't be fitting into a lot of things. Like, the girls is not growing in this. I gotta keep, <laughs> you know, all day. But, yeah, I am about to go and get. Huh? Oh, crap. I might need that. No. What? What? You don't have, you don't have cups? Huh? You don't have cups? Hi, Grandma. Oh, my Grandma. Stop. <laughs> Not to call me Grandma. Cuz, you looking like a Grandma. You are a Grandma. You are a Grandma. Hey! How y'all doing? Try it, Rachel. Try it. Boom. Open. You did it? Wow. super loud um wait cuz I might be monetized in the future I'm not monetized right now but I might be monetized in the future so you gotta lower your voice you gotta lower your stroll mama um hello it's Imani Monet and if you're new to my channel or like you're getting caught up with my life shoo my life has changed very drastically since I've posted consistently on this channel um i own a spa whoa i'm an esthetician whoa i've been doing this for years now um ow wow that hurt um currently i'm getting ready 
for a 12 o'clock appointment that I have, which is a laser appointment, a laser for the lower face. So, um, with that, I am prepping a bit, table paper, and turning on the laser because it takes like, it depends, it takes like 20 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes to turn on fully. Um, and yeah, what is this on the floor? Um, yeah. So today's a light day. Um, I decided today that I would work by myself. <laughs> I probably have like about six appointments today. Um, but yeah, I decided to work by myself today because, wow, that's my client. Wow. That's my client. Hello, again, how are you? How are you? Good. You have to see, I just like, I'm getting settled in. I'm a little early. It's okay. Early is good. Yeah, that's what I figured. Early <laughs> means you want to come here <laughs> <laughs> and get your stuff done. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm waiting for the machine to turn on. Okay. Um, Loading, but yeah, you see, wait, was it, is this recording? Okay, cool. My big old microphone again, if I haven't shown you before, kind of blocks the screen here, it pops up, but it's like I can't see it all the way. I just know that I'm looking at myself. Maybe I could adjust it right here, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna do that laser, and then um, I'll tell y'all why I decided to work by myself today. Because it's super important, I feel like. It's something that if you watched my um, Behind the Beauty podcast episode on Beauty Strikes channel, then you would understand a little bit more. But let me change the lighting in the room. So I just got finished with one of my clients, um, and I made a little, a little reel, whatever. Wait, did I accidentally exit from the YouTube? I definitely did. I'm about to eat lunch. I bought me some little sandwiches um, from the store because I have a habit of not eating. I have a habit of not eating when I'm working. And I know that I have a um, 1.30 call. It's 12, 16, oh, it's good timing. I could actually, see, I was about to do something else before I got myself something to eat, which is not good. Um, oh, but I was saying something earlier, like today I wanted to work by myself because there's a lot of things um, clerical that I need to do. And honestly, I need to schedule myself off from the store. If you don't know, I work seven days a week. So when y'all see me on vacation this summer, understand that it's well-deserved, okay? Like, anybody who thinks that I don't work hard, and and honestly, I'm like coming to like the conclusion that I don't need to work hard, I need to work smart. And this is what I'm like preparing myself to enter in the next chapter of my life and do. Um, because like certain things, I, me, Imani, I don't need to be doing anymore. Like I need to be focused on the growth and expansion of this brand if I wanted to grow past this point. Um, at first, when I first got the store, I was trying to grow to this point that I'm at now. But it's gonna take a different level of me, a different level of skills, a different um, morning routine, night routine, a different schedule and a different me, in all honesty, to get to the next place because the me right now, um, I've grown since I was in the studio doing services by myself. Like, 
whether it's like schedulely, fundamentally, skills wise, performance wise, like I am amazing at doing treatments. Like I am top tier at doing treatments. That doesn't mean I need to do it every day. Like, you know, I love doing it. <laughs> I love doing services. Like it's my favorite part of owning a business in all honesty, like my favorite part. If I could just do that and somebody else could do everything else, that would be amazing but right now i don't have the money like in all, all honesty to pay somebody their worth to do everything else and that's really important like i can i can pay somebody to do something but what it's worth to me and what it's worth to the business and the brand the company like no i can't afford that right now so i'm not having so somebody else do it because i've been there before where i've hired people to do things um and I paid them fairly and not what I valued the thing to be. Um, and they didn't do it to my standards. So when I definitely believe when you pay people um, what you value something, like if I value a service, say somebody values a facial for me at whatever price, they're gonna value that because they know it's for me, they know it's amazing, they know it's good. Um, and they know what type of quality and service that they're gonna get every each and every time they come to me. Um, and I want that to be the same for whoever I put in the position to do these things like um, get changed for the register, create um, esthetician cheat sheet. Like um, I have esthetician starting for the summertime because you know it gets busier in the summertime and like I created cheat sheets for front desk, for every position here they have a cheat sheet. And this is like some of the stuff that I'm getting ready to do um, for the esthetician today because um, like I wanted to work by myself today so I can get certain things done. So when it's that time for them to come back in and they have like repetitive questions, instead of me getting like, huh, this is a repetitive question, um, which I have no problem answering, but it's also good like to have physical things because I have it in a training course. We have it in on the computer, like on ClickUp and Asana. But it's nothing like having something in the physical that you can like see, hold, feel, and I laminated them, so, you know. Um, and I enjoy doing things like that, like, I, I really do. It's just like about my time, my time having, being able to do things like that. So, I feel like, honestly, in this year, last year, towards the end of it, after like I had a big stress taken off of me, um, into this year, um i have definitely gotten way better with my time management i'm amazing at time management already i'm gonna throw that out there because i definitely operate off of calendars off of time blocks just because of the nature of the business that i am in um but this year i've definitely gotten way better like maximizing my full 24 hours and yes that definitely means that i work 24 7 <laughs> but you know life is not always gonna be like this there's certain time periods in your life where you're gonna work super 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 hard so later on you can relax and that doesn't mean like later on in life that can mean later on in a year for me like you know like it just really depends on your life your lifestyle and everything else but I'm definitely planning on taking like two three weeks of vacation this this summer and summer's like eight eight weeks 16 weeks i feel like six i feel like it's 16 weeks i'm taking three of them to go on vacation period so i'm trying to get everything handled everything mapped out you know systems put in place upgrading and updating systems that i already had um that previous management has helped me put into place um and just like you know continue to build we, we link in we build in a period per um but yeah right now i'm about to use the bathroom I'm about to eat some of my little sandwiches yeah y'all I, I bought sandwiches pre-made yeah i don't got time to make it but hopefully next week or the week after that i will get back to like meal planning and stuff like that meal prepping but it's better than me ordering uber eats every day calling ubers every day you know your girl has elevated like a lot um so i'm giving myself a pat on the back <laughs> um but yeah, I'm about to do that. Eat, y'all don't want to see that. Um, and actually take a break before I head into the rest of my day because from 1.30 and beyond, I have like um, very important things to do. So 
I'll probably um have y'all see me do that. <laughs> Let me stop being a bird, bro. All right. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> well, I look like a different day and a different time, no. Earlier, I just had my hoodie on and um, <laughs> what is that attitude, Imani? What is that like? Where did that come from? <laughs> I have my hoodie on and um, yeah, my jacket, I guess, whatever. But it's 118. I got the change for the register. I need to put it in the register. I'm gonna make sure. We needed some change. We don't keep, in case one of y'all bad people is watching, we don't keep like cash in the register for real. But we need to keep cash for, um, for what is it called? Um, change. We don't keep change in the register for real. It's just like, we keep um, dollars for people who want to tip. Dollars make a dance. Dollar make a holla. <laughs> what am I doing? Stop trying to be a thought, you money. Bye. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna count this. And then by that time, I'm probably done. I'm gonna use the bathroom and be on my call, okay? On the call, I'm gonna be doing some errands though, like in the store, like cleaning and stuff like that. Helps me think when I'm like, physically active it helps me think it helps me you know the brain mass keeps it moving keeps it healthy okay um and then what else i have clients for the rest of the day and then i plan on going rock climbing tonight um i was gonna say hence why i'm wearing this but i'm always wearing a little workout outfit to work like i am that's just like my regular fit I was thinking about something um, the other day, and I was just thinking about like how the difference between like, can you see me more? I was thinking about the difference between like social media brands and like in-person brands because um, I am an in-person brand definitely, but I guess I have like a little bit of a social media presence as well, but um, we're definitely more, in person heavy meaning like we get more clientele in person from referrals and stuff like that i definitely know that we get clients from social media for real like I, that's evidently that's evident to me not saying that we don't but definitely more of a, a in-person brand And I say that to say like, I don't know, I feel like brands that are really popular online get more respect. In short, I feel like brands online who have a lot of followers are more respected than in-person brands who actually have like in-person stuff. And they do in-person stuff more than they do online. And I've saw that with like so many different companies and stuff. Like I used to go to people's store or a store and be like, wow, this store only has like 3,000 followers. They probably don't make a lot of money. And it's like, why is that the thinking? Cause this brand's with 3,000 followers who make $300,000 a year, <laughs> as opposed to brands who have 100,000 followers who don't make $100,000 a year. And that's crazy. Cause I would get a dollar from every single one of y'all. <laughs> I'm not joking, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let me start ranting before I have to be on this call. <laughs> Bye. When I tell you, like, life is crazy, life is crazy, and it comes at you fast. And I rebuke any negative spirits, demonic presences, anything in the name of Jesus, okay? Because I'm literally getting ready to do a treatment, and I'm about to pop in a piece of gum. 
because I ate and you don't want to be in front of people, talking to people, old people face with, you know, but I'm on the, I wasn't on the phone. I was getting ready to, you know, just clean, do something. And no, I was doing a schedule actually um, for my employees and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the ceiling in one of my treatment rooms starts leaking, bro. I wanted to make sure that my schedule published because that was also crazy. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm just like making sure that people are coming in for work. <laughs> Mm. Okay. This works. This is a good schedule. Let me see. All right, cool. But yeah, that was so insane. And I'm just happy that I know how to yeah. Um, apparently like my upstairs neighbor, they were bathing their kids, their twins, and apparently they might have like spilt water through the floor and it went there, but look how close it is to my laser machine. Like I moved my laser machine clearly, but it was super close to it super close. It was literally dripping through there. <sighs> like, child. And when I tell you like owning a brick and mortar store, man, sometimes it's just like, what the, f like what? how did that happen? Um, how, like how did that happen? Um, so yeah, I'm about to, that sound is annoying. But yeah, um, I'm about to do a client, um, like literally, and then I had a client come in two seconds after I went and got the neighbor from upstairs and asked her what happened. <sighs> really posh, like French lady. I'm like, this is not how I wanted you to be introduced to my black owned business. Like, you know, let me go and do my service y'all and I'm gonna let this battery charge actually I have another battery that's ready charged because I'm prepared to vlog but yeah I'll see you guys <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> so I'm about to do um well I have one client getting ready whoa okay so since y'all seen me I've done one anti-aging facial I checked somebody in and started somebody's beauty sweat which is basically um a sauna bed that you get inside and you sweat everything out um there's add-ons for it like a full body mask dry brush and dry brushing um duh i should feature that on whatever but um <laughs> but yeah so and i have that client for the beauty sweat, they're getting ready to come out. And then um, I have the client for Chemical Peel who showed up a little bit late, but it's okay. Um, she's been a long time client of mine, so keep her happy, you know? Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna clean a little bit, get ready to go in this beautiful store. I feel like summertime and just like the sun being out just makes the store look more beautiful even though at night with some candles lit it looks even more beautiful but still yeah and i watered my plants today um so they're all happy and thirsty well not thirsty they're all happy and fed i guess whatever but yeah so i'm getting ready to check the client out get my other client started and then um Go rock climbing. <laughs> so silly. But yeah. 
I also like did the schedule for um, my employees for the rest of this week and next week. I usually do it a month in advance, but I have some new people start and it's the end of the month. So the schedule, like I need to make the next schedule right now. This is the time. But I usually do it based on the days that we already have a lot of people scheduled for. So like April, April 2nd, we have, I, me personally, have 16 appointments on that day. Why I got that many appointments on that day? Um, but yeah, I'm just like, child. Today kicked my butt. It really did. It really did, for real. Today kicked my little booty. For real. Um, she forgot to split the tips for today. So that's something. Oh, she did a really great job today. And I was sure to tell her because I definitely want people to know that they do a good job. And also, I just really like verbal confirmation for things. <laughs> so I try to give people the same thing, even if it makes them feel awkward. Um, let me message her now. Actually, let me give her a call real quick. What's today? Hey, did you ever get your dumbbell situated? Um, what do you mean? Text message? Do you? think that you have an account already do you want to try to like reset password or something on there Thank you. Uh, later. Ugh. 
that's what being a boss is like even if you follow up just you gotta keep following up with people about the same stuff like not complaining also just so y'all know i don't know i don't want nobody to read that so you're complaining about <laughs> um, which phone I'm finna die first? Which one? Which one matter more? Money phone. Money phone matters more. So you get charged. Um, I finally bought Crocs for the store. These aren't like Croc Crocs. These are like dollar store Crocs, which dollar stores aren't dollar stores anymore. They're like ten dollar stores now um when i was a kid i could go to the store dollar store that's my five dollars i'm getting five things like but now you're going with five dollars you might i don't know i don't know if you're walking out with one thing like i don't know but yeah so i finally got myself some shoes for here so i can just switch into that um i think i want to straighten my hair today because i need to give it a trim um, and I need to like shape it a little bit more. Right now I don't have any product, any anything in my hair. I'm still probably gonna go home and wash it out. Um, but I need to get some more leave-in conditioner um, spray. It's also a heat protecting spray. So yeah, cause there needs to be something done with this. Cause like, it's cute when I shape it for real. Like I have to finger curl it and extend it and move it in certain places to for for it to be good now because my hair grew out so much um, since my last haircut. And I had highlights. I just need like, honestly today I wanted to put my hair in a bun. But she was, she's not giving bun right now. Um, She's giving go home and take a shower and do my hair. So I'm about to put my lunch that was, that was um, out <laughs> for majority of the day <laughs> in the fridge downstairs and get out of here. All right, so <laughs> I washed my hair and now I kind of don't want to straighten it. Like, why does my hair always look so cute when I want to straighten it? Like, why? But I'm, I'm, every single time I want to straighten my hair, my curls be like, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. Why? Why, money? Why do you want to straighten us? Uh. I'm gonna straighten it though, right now. <laughs> wow, I really left y'all high and dry today. I really left y'all high and dry today. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, also, I'm gonna start, also I'm gonna start like having my tripod vlogging camp light in here because like the lighting in here sucks. It does. Um, but I did straighten my hair. Okay, should I let it out? I should let it out just so y'all can see it for just un momento but then it rained and then my hair got all like whoa whoa let out the beast yeah it rained so i'm gonna um style it a little bit i'm thinking a side part I've been liking my side parts recently. Um, oh, not the girls trying to show. Uh, not the girl trying to show. Uh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have a dinner with one of my girlfriends tomorrow night. Um, so after my very extremely busy day tomorrow um hopefully i have time to get my nails and my feet done um ugh. i'm gonna map out my day and see hopefully i have time to do things um i have to train somebody for two hours tomorrow I have to go 
do like business stuff like I have a business meeting very early 10 I feel like it's at 10 o'clock tomorrow um and then hopefully in there I can squeeze I have to do an eyebrow appointment tomorrow and then yeah let's see what I can squeeze in tomorrow um but for the rest of tonight I'm relaxing I'm, I'm actually chillaxing okay I'm chillaxing um, I'm about to eat Din Din and watch Snowfall. I, oh, child, why I don't have my location? Yeah, I look a mess. Um, but I really don't though. Um, what is it? Can I spell? Okay. Well, I'm not running that late. Ah, uh, I don't like being late for real. I don't understand how I could wake up at like seven o'clock and be late for somewhere that I gotta go at ten o'clock. Like I don't get it. Um, with that being said, I have to go and. Ooh, got my key. One key. Oh, and he's two minutes away. Good. My Ubre is two minutes away. I have a habit of never putting my earpods back in the earpod case. Here we go. Yeah, I have an important meeting um, this morning. I feel like I've just been having important meetings this whole week. Um... But honestly, like this on the go outfit, not gonna lie, it eats. Like, wait, the back, do you see it? Cause I don't have the light on cause I'm about to be, uh, uh. Wolford dupe from Zara. I cleaned majority of this room today, child. Majority. But right now, I don't care how the hair looks. I don't care how the hair looks for real. It's giving, you know, body and Zara dupe. I mean, um, whatever dupe. I also washed my um, V part wig this morning and did laundry, walked my dog, did a little tiny bit of business. And then I'm wondering, like, how am I late? Like, girl, hello, listen to all the stuff you just did. Um, I just needed to get certain stuff done before I leave the house. Like, I'm sorry. And I made tea and I didn't even drink it. I'm going to drink some sips before I leave, okay? I'm going to drink me a sip, sip or two before I leave. Um, I'm going out later tonight. So, I don't really care how my hair looks right now because it's freaking raining. And it's going to be raining until like 2 o'clock. And I'm not being that girl who straightens my hair just for me to go outside. And it rains. Or like my hair just frizzes back up. Yeah, let me take a sip or two. This tea is the perfect temperature too. gets the body moving all right i'll chat with y'all later okay so that errand is done oh the fruit smells so good um and i'm basically i was going to get my taxes done child i mean it's not such a big secret i'm so private yo i'm so private <laughs> um and I want to see if I can go get my nails done because I thought that was going to take way longer. The good thing that I'm a super organized person. For real. Um, so I did that. I'm going to call this nail salon. 
and see if I can get an appointment. They're like a few blocks away from my apartment. And I thought I was gonna be done way later. Hi, um, so my name's Imani and I have a class pass appointment at 5.30, but I can come in earlier. Is that okay? Um, it was gel manicure. Um, in the next like 45 minutes. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. Ooh. I feel like my other phone was ringing. It is. It is, it was, okay. Um, but yeah, now I'm about to go get some Starbucks. Did I pass Starbucks? Oh child, this is Starbucks and Chipotle. Yeah. I forgot that people like look at you. Ooh. Let me adjust my camera. I forgot that people like look at you when you have a camera. Oh, look at that puppy. Alright. with the settings I'm not sure what I did um but so a lot has happened since y'all have last saw my beautiful little face um my hair look crazy my face looks amazing though but I uh, got my nails done clearly hey nails hey there you're a rock star get your game on go all right, nobody hears me. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, I is, are the settings good right now? I got my nails done. I went to my store, my spa, to number one, uh, go train someone on how to do something. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one trainings. Um, as well as like I work in my spa, duh. But today was like an off day for me and I went to go train someone for like an hour, hour and a half. I feel like, no, it's been like two hours, two hours and a half. Um, and then I actually got a facial. So I got microneedling, I got microdermabrasion and microneedling. I was trying to show one of my estheticians how to do microneedling. So um, we did that treatment. Um, and right now I'm about to, I think I'm gonna go to Kits and go look at these sneakers cause I need another pair of sneakers. Like I'm definitely a shoe boot girl, but most of the days I'm going to work. So I have like 
three pairs of sneakers that I cycle in and out for work. Really like two, um, cause the other pair hurt and they're just like to look cute. Never again, bro. Um, I don't care what my hair look like cause as soon as I get home, I'm gonna do it. And I wanna clean my closet room up a little bit more and prepare to leave. Hopefully I can do all this and not be late to my dinner with my friend. Now why, why would you do that when you see me walking down the street? Like, man just drove on the street, drove on the curb. I like my nails. Um, I had really bad acrylic damage, so, um, I really just needed to like change them, um, change from doing acrylics all the time into doing my natural nails. Um, I've been doing gel, um, and these are my natural nails. They're getting long, getting super long. Okay, so uh, I look kind of crazy um, I still didn't clean um, this room all the way how, how far can y'all see can y'all see and it looks crazy I cleaned it a lot though um, I just got back home literally just got back home um, I don't know what I'm wearing tonight I know I want to wear like black. I know I want to like give it's nighttime. I'm sexy. Whatever. Um, but I don't know what. And all my clothes is not here. That's what I want. I might actually get another one of these and extend it. Um, yeah, because yeah <laughs> it's very much so giving that um and so i'm able to buy and afford the house that i want to build my actual closet room i'm not about to spend thousands of dollars on that little ikea thing that everybody get who does youtube or oh i thought she can't i thought my chloe come here chloe mamas come here mamas Not a trick. Come, come here. Come here. Come. Let me hug you. She was just over me two seconds ago because I just got home. But now she thinks that she thinks it's a trick. Come here, mamas. Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> My little baby. My little baby. So, she has an ear infection, and, oh my baby. I don't know, see, she hugs me. Oh, she hugs me. Y'all dogs don't hug y'all, my dog hugs me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing, when, when I pick her up, she don't ever wanna go down, that's the thing. Okay, mama, okay, 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 okay. Mm. Mm. I miss you. Mm. So she has, okay, cloak, cloak. <laughs> the dog that didn't want to come to me, like. <laughs> okay, okay, baby. You miss me, I miss you too. So she has a, she does not like being held like this. She has a um, ear infection, so I put her little booties on so she can't scratch her ears. So I put it just like, um, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, like I'm not about to invest in that thing. Like those those IKEA frames, they be like, all right, girl, you running up and down the hallway now. But those IKEA frames be like for stores, they just be wooden. They be like, I literally can get this guy who builds furniture for me. I can literally get him to build that stuff for for exactly how much it costs. But why am I doing that in my apartment that I don't plan on living in in the next five years? Like, like it just doesn't make sense um to build a whole custom closet here like you know um so 
I got this from Target. Um, Target, if you will. If you want to see. And um, it's been holding up. I have too much stuff. And I've down, downsized, gave away, donated, sold, um, yeah, clothes and stuff. And I ain't getting rid of more. No, I probably am though, like in all honesty. Um, but I just came back from Sephora and I have a little haul. Just a little one, just a, just a little tiny one. Um, just a little tiny one. Girl, I wish you would have told me. I was just at Sephora. Seven thirty or eight is just fine. I didn't make a reservation just because I know how we are with time and work. So, lol. Yeah, one of my friends who like works equally as much as I do. Um, we're going to dinner, catching up tonight. Um, and she said that she placed a Sephora order. Oh my God, every time Chloe like goes on me and like I haven't been around her all day, like I get itchy as soon as she touches me. But yeah, my friend said that she um, got a Sephora order and she didn't know if it would be ready by the time my dinner is and she's like waiting to see if it'll be ready or if she can cancel it or whatever. But anyway, what I got from Sephora, this I've gotten in the travel size before and i want to get in travel size again because i want the travel size in the full size but they didn't have the full size one at sephora they just had the travel size one so child now my sister want to call me oh now you want to call me how was that practice um how was practice it was good okay give me one second hannah one second stay on the phone so I got this and it's the one size um, on till dawn mattifying powder. I love this because it makes my makeup stick. I got it before just to try it out around the holiday time and I love it. I love it. I have combination skin so like my skin is like combination oily on my cheeks, oily on the cheeks and then dry everywhere else. But my cheeks like cheeks are a major part of your skin like of your skin. So. I need to spray it and for creasing on under eye it it stops everything like I love it um I got the Fenty pro filter um retouch setting powder I have it in a different color this one is cashew I have it in the other color and that other color does not it's it's good as a powder but it the other color is not it's not it and then um I want to try K. I. Leaf fragrances. Um, so I got a layering set. It's a discovery set. So this is what I do with fragrances. I buy a discovery set and then see what fragrances I actually like on my body. Because I don't think that when you try perfumes on in a store or like put it on that little paper, that's not how it's going to smell on you. You need to spray it on your body, your pulse points um, to see how it smells on you. And I like to do that, like put the perfume on after I get it out the shower at nighttime and spray it on me and then wear it to bed and see how I like it to bed and see if I want it. Now, I did the same thing with Skylar, um, which is Clean Beauty. They have uh, perfume. I actually have two full-size bottles of these. I really love this perfume. As you can tell, I've had this for a year, a little over a year now, I feel like. Um, and you could tell which one I like the best capri summer is that girl she's that girl me and my family went to the bahamas and she was that girl every day every minute <laughs> um i was spraying it all the time so um i wanted to try other fragrances from them because like the notes that it has i don't normally like the notes that it has but it smells so good on and then the last thing i got is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Fragrance. This is actually a fragrance that I got in a discovery set um, as a trial size. 
and I was like, I love this. It smells so good. Um, unboxing. Unboxing! Wait, should I? No, I'm gonna actually save this as an unboxing so I can do it on TikTok. Ah, bye. <laughs> bye. Mind you, did no contour. But this face eats, I'm not gonna lie. This face eats without contour. Uh, okay. Let's see how long it takes me to decide what I'm gonna wear. And then I'll check in um, to see what else I do to my face. Cause um, this is a really great like foundation base to everything. That's the, um, until dawn. Do, 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 do. Oh, see, did I change anything on my face? <laughs> wow. Here comes the sneezes. Cause I cannot not sneeze when I spray that. It's cute. It's, it's cute. She's cute. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze like, so I'll wake up tomorrow morning. Now at this point. But yeah. So I'm wearing um Wolford bodysuit, which like you can't see. Wolford bodysuit, some jeans, some boots, and a leather trench. I was gonna wear like whole club attire, like and I was just like who am I gonna be with? Where am I going? So it's Saturday. Friday was cute. Um, went to drinks. I didn't really record because it was a catch up with one of my friends that I haven't like seen in a while. Um, uh, I was clearly drinking, but not like a lot. Like I wasn't drunk or anything, but if I have like one or two drinks, which I did, I had two drinks. Um, I always get like nasally mucus. Like I can't, I need to start drinking. Like if I'm gonna drink, I need to stop drinking stuff with all that like cute sweet stuff and just drink it straight. Like in all honesty, cause if I don't, this is what I sound like. All for two drinks. I had pineapple mezcals. Um, I went to a vegan Mexican restaurant called ja 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 <laughs> and tell me why okay t my uber driver dropped me four blocks away from four new york city brooklyn blocks away from my uh restaurant and i get there i'm like did i put the wrong address in the gps like did they move am i sending my friends to the wrong place because i like gave her the the invite and where to show up and stuff so i'm like i get did i give her the wrong address and stuff and i'm like girl like just double check your uber um and nope <laughs> that man just dropped me off like four blocks away for no reason at all i'm like okay like is it because i asked for your charger like you wanted to charge you that bad sir like i don't know i was just like what the heck um but it's cool we ended up like soon as i walked up she ended up getting out her uber so it was cool but i didn't expect that like that was so random um are we gonna try a new perfume today or is that gonna be like crazy to do randomly <laughs> um today I might go to a friend's event. I was packing my makeup bag because I'm not going to have enough time to do my makeup um, here because I am running late for work. It's like 8.30, but I have to be there by, well, it's 8.40. Oh, God, here comes Chloe. Here comes Chloe. <laughs> oh. Hi, mamas. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Pookie. Um, 
I have to be there at 9.30. And the way public transportation is set up, I ain't gonna get there on time, right? 8.55, nope. <laughs> nope, so what I'm about to do, call me a good old. Chloe has the hiccups and it's the cutest thing in the world. Oh. Hiccup? Yeah. You got hiccups? Hmm? You got hiccups, mama? She's like, what is happening to me? What is happening to me? Mm, mama's baby. She's like, what's that big old thing you got in front of my face? All right, today is Sunday. Um, it's March 26th, okay, wow. Not me not knowing today. Um, yesterday was too lit. Um, I worked, it's like 4.30 right now. Um, I literally had a full day of work um, and now I'm home. Um, I left the store early. There's still um, a few clients, but um, the other estheticians are doing that. My hair looks crazy. I did so many laser appointments today. Like, it literally makes no sense. Um, so many laser appointments. Sure. Um, I have dinner tonight. I have a, a dinner tonight. And um, yeah, I'm about to get ready for it. And I'm meeting a friend for drinks. So, yesterday, I also had a dinner and drinks. <laughs> and went to like a little event. Um, but I didn't vlog because I was running super duper cat. I don't know, I was trying to make some stuff up. But I was running super late. Chloe, come here. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Oh, she wants to hug. Oh, she wants to hug. My my puppy hugs me and loves me. <laughs> so I'm dressed because my camera. Ooh. So I'm dressed because my camera clearly died while I was getting ready. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Zara jumpsuit. It's like a cargo jumpsuit and then these thick huge humongous Zara um, platforms they make me like freaking two feet taller bro um, cute little jacket cuz it's like 60 degrees outside my regular jewelry um, I always wear my tennis bracelet oh let me take this off I don't like when I'll be wearing like, um, what's it called? The little thingies, like their jewelry, like no, they're not. Um, some regular gold earrings. I actually got them from a black owned business um, at a Shopify event. Um, her name started with an E too. Um, oh my gosh, what is her name? Ah! I'll try to tag it um, below. But yeah, I got these. And then, you know, just cute casual. Um, my little Venti, Venti, Vintage Fendi Baguette bag. Um, is it full of stuff that I need? Actually, actually, I got the titty light. I got the titty light. Don't be making fun of me because I got the titty light. Um, definitely need lotion my ear pods like, girl how am i getting my ear pods i need to go downstairs because i called the uber um oh is that my key no my key should be in the front yeah my wallet yeah i got everything that i need my lippy let me bring that because who wants to go out without the lippy I have everything so I'm also go for I'm bring comb too just in case never know 
We need to comb my head. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I look cute. I might wear my hair back though. I did all that to just put my hair in a ponytail. Like what? Probably not. I just feel like it looks better like back. Oh, that's my Uber. So let me go. Bye. I'll tell y'all how it went later or tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>